this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. And today is the first of this year's Christmas projects. Oh, wow. Really, it's only August and we're already getting into Christmas. As you know, um, the Christmas catalogue has been available to us demos for the past month or so, um, since the beginning of August, actually. Um, so not that month, maybe two or three weeks. Um, and um we've been able to pre-order some of the products so i've got some of the products and i've used them to make these gorgeous little gift tags the color scheme is from the dsp so it's garden green flirty flamingo pool party and real red i'm really loving this color combination made them in lots of different combinations um, and these tags will all be going out with my catalogues um next week on Monday, tomorrow hopefully monday monday or tuesday um so if you'd like a catalogue and then you'd like to receive one of these little tags just um, fill in my request a catalogue form on the blog and I'll be happy to put one in the post to you um, and I'm going to show you today how to make these they're so so simple um, it won't take me two minutes to show you um, I cased this from the front of the new catalogue so here's the new catalogue and down here you can see these little tags bring it up a bit so you can see a bit more clearly those tags and um, those are what I um I cased it from um, I think they're really sweet and I love these these enamel shapes and the felt scarves really beautiful um, to make them you would need to buy the embellishment kit this is called the let it snow embellishment kit if I just show you what's inside so for a start you get four sheets of felt shapes and the felt shapes are scarves so you get six of each color scarves you get three pairs of mittens let me see if i can push i've pushed out some of these so i'll just do them again three pairs of little mittens i put them there and you see and you get um three hats in each set as well three matching hats but the scarves are really what appeal to me and luckily you get more scarves than anything else that's what appeals to me there and they're all embroidered they're absolutely lovely so much detail on them absolutely gorgeous so i love those you then get a sheet of there is that so you can see these a sheet of enamel shapes haven't used any of the branches that are meant to be arms for us no but i will use those i've used up nearly all of the carrots so i've only got one more carrot to use in the, the um, tag that i'm making today and I've used quite a lot of the coal eyes and buttons um, on making my tags. So I think I'm going to have to order another kit really because I'm really loving these and I'm really going to want to use them more. So you get those. You also get a beautiful reel of washi tape. If I can find the end. There I think. There. Um, can you see under camera how beautiful and glittery that is that's going to be gorgeous for some projects i'm looking forward to using that and then you get a little bag now i haven't quite decided what i'm going to do with these can you see maybe if I put them against the red they're like little tiny snowballs i don't know what i'm going to do with those i haven't really decided there's not really enough to make a shaker card there's enough to put a few on a card but they only do one card so i don't really know what i'm going to do with those but the rest of the kit i love so that was all right that was fine because i liked enough of it to make it worth me purchasing so how did i make my tag oh and just in case um i showed you the catalogue but if you're not on my list of people to collect to get a catalogue so either you have already requested one through my form on my blog um paperdaisycrafting.com or .co.uk i think sorry yes .co.uk um so there's a request a catalogue form on there just fill that in and i can get one to you or um you're one of my customers of the past 12 months if you shopped with me for the last over the last 12 months you will be getting one of these free in the post anyway okay um but if you'd like one and you're not in any of those two um categories please fill in the request form on my blog and i'll be happy to post one off to you like i say they're going out this week um some on monday some on tuesday i think so um, they should be arriving in people's um, post boxes Tuesday, um, Wednesday and Thursday. So if you'd like to see an early peak, you can't order from it yet. Um, you have to wait till um, the 4th of September to be able to order. Right, what are we going to do? We're going to stamp our card first. So on the tags you will see 
I have put to and from and this to and from is from the snowman season stamp set which I'm just going to grab which is this one it coordinates with the new punch which is brilliant can't wait to use it um so and I've just used this to and from here this stamp down here so I'm just going to stamp in memento ink to and from making two tags I don't just want to do something slightly different just to make your kit go further so two and from and to and from just stamp down there at the bottom and that's all the stamping we need to do and then all we're going to do is to take a pokey tool and take our enamel shapes and we are going to take I'm using the biggest one but I did use the smallest ones on some of these and they look fine so whichever you think um, and just place these in the right place for some eyes that one doesn't want to come off the pokey tail there we go there we go and then a carrot nose now you see I've only got one carrot left here so what am I going to do with the other card what I did was I took my um, I took a piece of um, pumpkin pie cardstock and just cut a little triangle and that works perfectly well they're not quite so nice as the um, enamel shape but it does the job so just do that I'm going to put them in my tweezers because it's quite a tiny little thing to do so just thought I'd show you that little trick just in case there's less noses than there are eyes and scarves and whatever so you know you want to be able to use up the whole of your kit so that just means you can extend it a little bit by using pumpkin pie there we go so like that one better but that one's fine uh, and then I'm going to take a scarf and I'm going to glue with some Tombow I've got some on a plate here with a cocktail stick which is the easiest way to do this so just put quite a thick layer of, of um, glue because it will soak into the felt so you need to make sure you've got enough to get it to cling to the card and just place that under the eyes and the nose like so and it gives you the illusion of a snowman where they even have a snowman shape just going to do one more I'm using a red one this time and like that just a little bit of glue it's much easier to control with a cocktail stick than trying to use it straight out of the container there we go and that's going under there then you need to come in and make a hole now I don't think we still do a handheld hole punch I meant to check before I came on camera but that's what I'm using our old handheld so maybe you've got something else that you could use to make the hole oh I forgot to tell you the sizes this is four and a half centimeters by nine and a half centimeters or it is two one and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches and the backing card is more or less the same size I didn't cut it very accurately because I didn't mind if it didn't fit um, absolutely exactly and then put that there and punch they so punch through both pieces at once and this one I'm going to put there like I said it's roughly the same size but it doesn't need to be exact unless you have terribly OCD and you do need it to be right and then you just take a piece, piece of twine um, how long do I want it about that long so I want a piece of twine that is about seven and a half inches Lord knows what that is in centimetres. I'll have to put it on the blog when I write this up. And through there. There we go. And that's my tag made. Just going to finish off the other one. Another seven and a half centimetres. Seven and a half inches, rather. This is just white baker, um, white, whisper white baker's twine 
um, and it just finishes off these tags quite nicely. You don't need anything more um, decorative than this really to finish these off. You could use ribbon if you wanted to. I just quite like the simplicity of the, the twine really. Um, didn't take, didn't attract anything from the snowman. So there's my two snowman tags. And I've got loads more here. Look, loads and loads and loads. So I've got enough now to send out all my catalogues. Um, this is just, this is even, it's even all of them. I've got another pile over the other side of my room. Um, so I've been really busy making these. I've used two embellishment boxes up to make these. So um, anyway, it's worth it to send out to all my lovely customers. So there we go. That's my project for today. Please um, sign up for a catalogue if you'd like one. I've got lots left, so I'm happy to send one in the post to you. And there's loads of really gorgeous Christmas products in there, so you won't be disappointed. Um, that's it from me, I think. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.